25th of May 2019 from WBRN Radio and on the Boston Red Network. This is Boston Red from the Jared Pippen Broadcast Booth. A little bit about our lineup this weekend. We'll have our Memorial Day uh, presentation as we normally do. That will be on Sunday and the Monday morning quarterback will be at its normal position on Monday. Also, uh, on the uh, Memorial Day presentation, we'll talk about homelessness, particularly homeless veterans uh, in the Bay Area, Berkeley, etc. We were going to uh, put it in as part of this broadcast, but we made an editorial decision. We'll put it in on Veterans Day. It's very important there. And how, uh, excuse me, Memorial Day, we'll get it right in a minute here, is... uh, primarily seen as honoring uh, veterans. It started out to honor African American Civil War veterans and of course it expanded over time. It was called a Decoration Day and uh, then uh, we into a Memorial Day but we've expanded it to look at the uh, plight of people uh, on that particular day because many many people uh, follow the uh, a ceremony a ceremonial part, I should say, of it, uh, observance of their uh, ancestors, loved ones, whatever you want to call it, uh, local uh, cemeteries, graveyards, uh, whatever the situation may be, a remembrance of them. So it goes beyond just a quote-unquote a military day in uh, modern times, particularly in 2019. Now we'll go across the pond, so to speak, of what happened in the UK. Well, Brexit has not become a reality. The Leave people won the election by a few points after the polls said they uh, would not win, uh, that the uh, basically the Remain uh, would be there. The Tory party, which some characters in the Tory party uh, pushed to leave uh, the UK, they call them of uh, the EU, I should say, they call themselves um, Eurosceptics. Theresa May uh, failing three times uh, on the OT Leo three strikes rule. She's out. She is uh, the uh, PM of the Prime Minister. She will leave, I believe, on June the 7th. She'll stick around long enough to uh, welcome uh, DJ Trump. He'll have a quote-unquote state of visit. He's in Japan now. A waste of time and a a fuel, no doubt about that. It contributes to climate change, driving around, uh, flying around to worthless events. But she will be gone. And then there are several candidates that will run from the Tory party. 
including uh, Boris Johnson and one of these uh, characters on the scene. What the issue there is, is Brexit, is it uh, a positive or a negative for the EU economy? We'll talk about that on Numbers Man, that's our macroeconomics program, which will air later today, and stay tuned to it. And where uh, Brexit will go, uh, we saw Brexit all the time as a all along, I should say, as a situation whereby the UK economy would only suffer. Because of the size of the UK economy, it could do much better integrated into the rest of Europe. And the other countries in the EU are not uh, set to accommodate the UK if they want to leave on what's called a hard Brexit. Many of the banks have moved out of the... uh, City of London, which is a a separate part of London, actually. The financial district, they've lost jobs. And they will continue to lose more jobs. Businesses have stockpiled uh, various uh, materials of product uh, from the uh, supply chain that they need uh, to survive immediately. But there's another side to the corn here. If uh, the uh, Tories can't agree on a path out they will end up uh, either ending in the same position as May. They have October to do this, or they will ask for more time, or they will call what is called a snap election. The Labour Party's uh, leader, uh, Jerry, uh, Jeremy uh, Coburn, is uh, waiting on them. And will the British uh, public uh, chart a more progressive route? This is one of the problems where politics meets the needs of the economy. And, of course, the voters in the U.K. will have a uh, selection to make, some call it, if if and when they do have an election between the uh, progressive uh, Labour Party and the uh, Tory party that's caused a lot of damage to the EU economy and the... the, uh, potential of the EU economy. We've argued on a numbers, man, in 2019, we've been arguing for a long time, that due to the globalization of the economy, you have to have a pr- progressive a perspective. An example of that was under a Barack Obama and his administration was uh, the best that they could do in terms of globalizing the economy uh, so that all the nations are benefited somewhat from it. Now there is a new trade deal now between uh, Mexico and uh, Canada and the U.S. has not been ratified. Will it be ratified? We don't know. Before the uh, 2020 election, a lot of things are up in the air here in the States. So one of the things we'll be looking at, incidentally, we also cover a European uh, politics of the UK. We own the uh, home parliament there. And we still have in our can uh, a special on the Australian election. Some will say, well, it's over. Yes, it is. But there are similarities there that we need to point out. That is the reason we'll be bringing that uh, presentation uh, forward. Now back to... Uh, some of what happened in the U.S. There was a meeting uh, between the uh, congressional leadership, the Democrats, uh, Chuck Schumer and uh, Nancy Pelosi, the leader of the House, and D.J. Trump. Trump walked out of the meeting into a prearranged uh, news conference. Now, this is one thing for people to observe. Many things that uh, uh, D.J. Uh, does are choreographed prearranged uh, like his uh, reality TV show. Just because you have something in real time doesn't mean that there's not some scripting uh, going along. So he ran out there and uh, put a press conference there, did what uh, political consultants uh, say as a flippable, blame the Democratic Party for any uh, shortcomings that may arise. Not only did he do that, he uh, retweeted a doctored a video. We looked at the video, and what they did was they slowed down the video. This is of 
Nancy Pelosi, the House leader, and made her appear that uh, she was intoxicated or whatever, when in fact she was not. But the big question uh, for the uh, corporate media is, um, do they allow fake news or fake uh, broadcasts of this nature to participate as news? The AP and various other people flagged it, and we noted when we were putting it up on uh, Facebook, we did not put it up there, but Facebook had a warning there and showed various uh, people that had flagged this. But Trump re um, retweets something that is totally fake. And that in itself is something that we have went into in U.S. Uh, politics. But today it is quickly uh, found. Now, 20 years ago, if you would have done something like that, providing you had a technology, it would have take, taken hours and days for people to discover that it was fake. But ODJ is the first president uh, to rely on his own uh, Twitter account kind of mimics uh, the uh, former mayor of the ghetto uh, at the time of Newark uh, Twitter King uh, Booker that used to use his, had a lot of people we don't hear as much from Twitter King now he's running for president and a senator on his uh, feet now Barack Obama used the official presidential uh, Twitter account which presidents should use but what you're seeing here with Trump is a um, privatization basically of of the presidency the communication apparatus of the presidency now this is going to be a very very uh, interesting election and at the same time also uh, he moved this week uh, to have Barr his hand picked attorney general and some say uh, crony to uh, give him special powers to investigate the various intelligent apparatus, uh, whether it be the CIA, the uh, National uh, NSA, or whomever. And there's a lot of those smaller ones that we it doesn't necessarily come to mind. And again, this is the big argument there. Uh, they would be forced to give out uh, methods. <coughs> Excuse me. And people that cooperate. Now, this is the same situation. Another story from this week with Julian Assange. He's been uh, charged with 17 additional counts of uh, basically conspiring uh, with uh, Chelsea Manning. Chelsea Manning was the uh, soldier that uh, provided uh, the information to WikiLeaks by taking them out literally on, on uh, DVDs uh, one at a time and sending them on to uh, WikiLeaks. Well, Chelsea is now in jail. And the statement she made was uh, that basically she'd starved to death before she'd testify. Uh, they hit her with fines of a thousand dollars a day, which doesn't make any sense because she doesn't have the money. And at the uh, same time, uh, she has been in jail before, so she knows the jail. And she's been in prison. And what they're doing is they're recycling the events uh, that they had originally charged the Chelsea Manning with and added uh, Julian Assange in there under the Espionage Act. We had hoped to have uh, the uh, from Democracy Now! Uh, Dr. Uh, Daniel uh, Ellsberg. Well, incidentally, you can find him on the Boston Red uh, Twitter feed. He was talking about his situation. He was going to be charged also under the Espionage Act. The Pentagon Papers, for those that were around at the time, were... Uh, published uh, by the New York Times. In fact, there was a book. In those days, we didn't have quote-unquote social media, so things had to come out in book form, the same as with the Mueller report. It originally sold, no doubt, uh, the companies that put it out, and you know, again, uh, it uh, crashed. There's even an audio version of the uh, Mueller report out there. We had told H she should have written something, uh, and included the Mueller report because it's in the public domain, but I uh, added some commentary, and that's basically what these people did. So we have a uh, we have a situation here that is an expansion of um, the Justice Department's oversight, 
and that is uh, a situation that puts the intelligence services their uh, snitches and what have you in a very peculiar situation because if they do expose these people um, various people will look into it and then they will land in social media and they will be out of business the methods in which they used now this doesn't mean the methods uh, will uh, change yes they will indeed uh, change uh, over time and they have since the days of Chelsea Manning so there's not a big deal about what was a quote unquote out there what basically what she exposed was war crimes and now DJ Trump is debating whether or not to uh, pardon uh, some of these uh, characters accused of war crimes veterans organizations argue against it because just as John McCain argued against uh, torture because you have a person that's head of the CIA that was accused of torture so this is sort of a of a strange uh, uh, a footprint that is more and more out there. But when you look at it uh, in its totality, you have the conditions of modern-day uh, capitalism that brings these about. This is not just a creation of DJ Trump and his uh, spin machine. At the same time, we have a forecast, and we'll talk about this on Numbers Man, uh, forecasting uh, Q2 of uh, the second quarter at roughly uh, what 1.5 percent or 1.3 percent. Goldman Sachs has one out. The uh, Federal Reserve Bank of uh, Atlanta has one out. And people see a slowing of the economy. This will affect uh, the DJ Trump uh, gang more so than any uh, so-called Mueller investigation there, uh, throwing of stones. And after the meeting uh, with uh, Pelosi and the Democrats, they are moving along, uh, getting um, bank records of ODJ and various other things via New York and the apparatus they have there with the state's attorney in uh, New York. So some of that information, piece by piece, the forensic accountants are now starting to piece it together. But the corporate media has not put it forward um, as they should. And on the Democratic side, we'd have to say something about the presidential contest. Well, it goes on. Biden is up in whichever polls you want to look at. And we'll jump to a poll here when we uh, finish. Uh, This is a uh, Rasmussen poll of all things. Well, we really won't have to jump to it. It shows Elizabeth Warren ahead of D.J. Trump by three or four and we'd have to look at the poll to see where the margin of error is. But that would be in a general election situation. Liz has uh, been organizing very, very quietly. She's been rising in the polls uh, somewhat there. And at the same time, uh, Bernie has changed his uh, fundraising. Do we expect that this mic uh, for Biden to be up by 10, 15 points uh, this time next year? The answer is uh, no. The race will uh, get uh, much uh, tighter. What will happen to some of the uh, 2 and 3 percenters? That will be a very interesting situation. As uh, Senator Gillibrand said of New York, as people start to focus. Now, people aren't really focusing on the presidential uh, race. They'll be having some debates in uh, June and July, the Democrats said. So we'll see how all of that uh, turns out. So we'll go to our regular uh, lineup now. And we remind people when we come in here, we always uh, play uh, a song uh, from uh, Butsahatchee. Uh, That uh, was uh, the uh, headquarters of the anti-racist activist. Uh, That's all you could call him as an activist, uh, Stetson Kennedy. And uh, we pay homage to him and his momentous work for racial equality. He was a man that literally destroyed the Ku Klux Klan in Georgia, took away their charter, and we invite you to read his books. I first encountered uh, him on TV on uh, the Tony Brown's uh, Journal. So he's been, he was around a long time. He uh, died a few years ago, and we just remind uh, people of that. Let's go to our regular lineup. We do have uh, some sports, but this would be uh, via the uh, 
Washington uh, Post. Uh, let me just jump off a little bit here, and this is more something we have on the open source report. But hackers have literally hacked into the uh, computer system of the city of Baltimore in Maryland. This is dated the 22nd of May in the New York Times. More than two weeks, uh, hackers seized the parts of the uh, computer system that runs the uh, government in uh, Baltimore. They are trying to do a workaround now by using a paper. The mayor there, uh, Brendan Young, I don't know who Young is, but in order to move the city forward, I might think it's uh, it's about, but I have not made a decision uh, yet. Uh, well, they are affected there, the victim of, of ransomware. That would be something we'd normally put on the open source report, but it is about security. The city uh, notified the FBI, took the system offline off to keep uh, the ransomware from spreading, uh, but uh, not before it uh, took down a voicemail, email, parking fine, uh, database, a system used to pay uh, the utility bills, water, property taxes, vehicle citations, at least uh, 1,500 uh, pending home sales have been delayed. They can't get to uh, the, the uh, database either. So copies of the digital ransom note were obtained uh, by the uh, Baltimore uh, Sun. That's the newspaper there. Stating that the city could unlock uh, the plans. Uh, and uh, let's see. At uh, 24000 per system uh, are uh, 13 uh, bitcoms at about 100 and. Uh, 2000 uh, for them all. The price uh, of this decentralized, hard-to-track uh, virtual uh, currency uh, fluctuates, no doubt about that, and that's is one of the uh, situations uh, for uh, Bitcoin. And what's behind the attack? The authorities have not named any individuals or groups, but uh, they have identified malicious software or malware uh, behind them as uh, Robin Hood, a relative new uh, variant of ransomware that's according there. We'll have more of this on the uh, open source report. We thought we'd just get uh, to it. Now let's uh, go to our lineup uh, here. We were, thought we were going there. Here we go. Anyway, some of this is uh, from the Washington Post. I don't know if we'll have the public news service tonight or not. This is on the Espionage Act. We will have, uh, we may have actually the Espionage Act on our uh, Memorial Day uh, special. Some uh, federal prosecutors, the headline here, disagreed with charging Julius Assange under Espionage Act. Two prosecutors involved in a case against Julius Assange, the founder of WikiLeaks, uh, argued against the decision uh, to charge him under this because of the first amendment uh, situation uh, involved there. Very, very slippy. It could cover uh, many, many people, not just Julian Sarge. Uh, what are they going to do about the Times, the Post, and various other people that uh, actually published the results of that? No one has said anything about that. One of the attorneys, uh, uh, James uh, Trump, no relation to D.J. Trump, uh, was concerned about pursuing a prosecution uh, that was uh, so uh, susceptible to the uh, First Amendment. Uh, one of the situations that they uh, took up there uh, and uh, the internal debate within that, I don't know if we have Floyd Abrams here or not, but another PC is a uh, prominent uh, First Amendment attorney. Anyway, this is with PFC uh, Chelsea Manning uh, in uh, 2010, so this is almost 10 years ago. Uh, that uh, was done, and uh, Julian Assange, of course, had to uh, beat it to the Ecuadorian embassy, and then he was dislodged in favor of a loan uh, from the INF to the Ecuadorian government. He announced in the indictment, the attorney there, Zach Trewinwilliger, I guess, said Assange was not charged simply because he is a publisher, but rather for publishing a narrow uh, set of... Uh, classified documents in which Assange also allegedly published the unredacted uh, names of uh, people uh, there uh, out there and his um, attorney uh, Barry Pollock uh, countered uh, Thursday that the charges reveal 
the gravity of the threat of the uh, criminal prosecution of Julian Assange to all journalists. And this is the big problem right there. And they go back in history to the Pentagon Papers. That was in 1971. So that Assange's charges uh, suggest uh, that the administration of uh, D.J. Trump is trying to rewrite the legal balance between government secrecy and freedom of the press. And that was a landmark of Pentagon uh, case. It was a different uh, type of Supreme Court at that time. You move now to a much uh, far-right uh, Supreme Court. So this is something we are uh, looking into. Perhaps we'll make it into a special episode. Some of those were out there. Another headline, Republican hate government so much uh, they should leave. Well, this is by uh, Jennifer Rubin. She's a Republican. Uh, Republicans, at least since uh, Barack Obama's presidency, when uh, they dragged their foot on uh, raising the debt ceiling, revered government uh, shutdowns as a political extortion, and have uh, cared uh, less about uh, delivering good uh, government, whether big or small, and more about uh, white identity politics, uh, stunts, and outright hostility to government. Consider what is uh, going on this week. Trump is refusing to do his job. His anger, uh, fear over legitimate congressional investigations prompted him to declare he'd stop working on the infrastructure bill as long as Democrats were um, investigating. My words, not uh, Ms. Uh, Rubin. Marco Vegas Rubio uh, had the nerve to suggest that Republicans had the House as uh, they did uh, for two years. They'd uh, get a whole bunch of things done. Really, we didn't get anything done when they had it. This is uh, preposterous that the Republicans didn't like the Democrat bills on health care, uh, fighting corruption, prescription drugs, non-discrimination, uh, guns, a whole laundry list here, environmental things. They could have amended them and then sent them back. Alternatively, they uh, could uh, start from stretch on their own legislation. They could never get that done. Speaking of Republicans, on Friday, a lone Republican uh, member, this is Chip Roy. He's uh, from uh, Texas, uh, who learned his annex as a staffer for the uh, best-known obstructionist Ted Line Cruz. Blocked a carefully crafted compromise on disaster relief. Uh, Roy uh, said he was objecting to the bill because it added to the uh, nation's uh, debt. Well, the wall and all these things add to the nation's debt as well as because it uh, let out $4.4 billion, uh, in additional spending for federal operation uh, left out uh, on the Mexican border, just a boondoggle. We talked about that last night in the uh, interest of uh, D.J. Trump. Following the objection, the House ended its session. The House is uh, set uh, to uh, have another uh, performance session. Uh, one of few lawmakers present on uh, Wednesday. They are out on the Memorial Day uh, break incidentally we'll see uh, Roy said when they asked whether he would uh, object again I don't know if he's in town or out of town who knows Republicans don't seem to know uh, what they want to accomplish uh, they uh, wouldn't know how to get uh, it if they did and this is a lot this is deliberate stuff this is more of a uh, of a plan and not a whelm of some uh, nuts Republicans in the House and Senate who have become uh, devoted to protecting uh, Trump. Uh, well, that's for a reason. It's called modern-day capitalism. Trump came to Washington to blow things up, but the Republicans have blown up the idea of uh, public service and representing democracy. Well, big debate on that one. We don't know where it is. Uh, the uh, democracy that is. So that was her. Why is it alarming that uh, cl uh, Trump uh, shared a video, edited video of, of uh, Nancy Pelosi? This is more on that ed edited video. Conservative accounts on social media circulated a clip this week, uh, deliberately distorting, uh, distorted to make it uh, seem that the speaker was slurring her speech, drunk as a skunk. A commentator said, "The uh, video which." Uh, Declared a deep uh, fake, uh, employed much uh, too uh, simple a technology to merit uh, that term. Deep fakes are using uh, artificial intelligence to synthesize, synthesize excuse me, human imagery into reality. 
that is entirely fabricated. This mirror of uh, Mia's uh, Pelosi merely uh, slowed down a part, so that's an old trick right there, to modify her pitch. We could do that here. The clip uh, Trump re- retweeted along with the words Pelosi's stimmers uh, through the news uh, conference uh, was part of the same narrative, but it was not distorted or even adopted so much as it was edited. The uh, clip spliced together short elements of uh, Nancy Pelosi stuttering in a uh, low light uh, reel. They'd offered uh, misleading, and this is usually what they do spliced together. Um, an old editorial trick did not make the video or uh, pull it from a right wing uh, fever of uh, fever swamp of social media. He took it instead from the uh, Fox uh, Business uh, Network. The clamor for firms such as uh, you do. And this is the rest of the story. Uh, have Facebook and Twitter to remove or limit the distribution of these clips as misinformation invites a uh, vexing debate about uh, what uh, counts as fake in the first place. Slurring of videos accompanied by uh, Manufactured uh, accusations of uh, drunkenness uh, may uh, fall on one side of the line. So let me finish this up here. In uh, the best of circumstances, the emergence of these tools for mass deception uh, would uh, be distributed, uh, be uh, disturbing, excuse me. It has become absolutely alarming at a time when America is led by someone who is intent on uh, deceiving. Well, yeah. And this was the uh, AP uh, Not Real News audio v- video mix. Uh, uh, Pelosi seem uh, to uh, slur the words. We put this up. This is the video. This is one of the sources that Facebook got. A story video is based on real footage from the uh, Center for American Progress uh, conference in Washington on Wednesday showing Nancy Pelosi uh, referring uh, her uh, claim that uh, DJ Trump was engaged in a cover-up as early as a Friday, the altered video had uh, raked in millions of views. The Associated Press Journalism did uh, side-by-side uh, comparison of fake video with the C-SPAN uh, footage and concluded that the altered video had been slowed down. AP Jonathan monitored the event, said Pelosi appeared uh, coherent throughout, no doubt. It's not somebody using the latest technology. Uh, one of the uh, this is from a Berkeley, uh, and I can't see his uh, situation here right now. Uh, Fired uh, said, anybody can do this. Experts on this, we back to this uh, deep fake of videos have been warning about the potential of digitally altered uh, videos to push uh, fraudulent claims. The video emerged as uh, the relationship between Trump and Pelosi has deteriorated into her questioning his fitness, in other words, his sanity. Post claiming a Pelosi appeared drunk, sluggish during the event, often uh, made the rounds on a social media. What worries me is uh, that these uh, dumb fakes have uh, whipped up uh, the president, the White House. This is uh, Giuliani and his supporters, he said, referring to old Rudy Giuliani, he's uh, his personal attorney. Farad uh, said the latest video is reminiscent of an altered video of uh, CNN reporter Jim Acosta that was uh, retweeted uh, out by the uh, Trump administration last year. So nothing is new here. It won't waste time on E-Verify, but uh, Trump is using it at some of his golf courses. Uh, undocumented people are being uh, fired. The Supreme Court incidentally said um, Ohio and Michigan do not have to start uh, with a new map immediately. A stay was uh, put on here. Um, the Supreme Court on Friday put on a whole low-level court decision that Ohio and Michigan had to come up with a new election map because of the unconstitutional partisan uh, gerrymandering. 
In March, um, the court heard arguments in similar case out of North Carolina where judges found the Republicans had manipulated congressional uh, districts uh, to the advantage and uh, from Maryland where Democratic Laura Meckers redrew districts that result in a loss of uh, for a long-time Republic congressional type. With decisions from Ohio and Michigan, this is big. Voter suppression or old-fashioned gerrymandering is uh, much more serious than the so-called Russian interference on a social media because it interferes at the ballot box. Judges and justices must act in accordance with their obligation uh, to uh, vindicate the constitutional rights of those uh, harmed by partisan gerrymandering. This is Judge Eric L. Clay of the U.S. Court of Appeals 6th District wrote in uh, Michigan. So we move on here. And so the New Times, basically, uh, their headline was Supreme Court blocks the uh, two rulings uh, striking down of uh, voting uh, maps. Uh, this is by Adam uh, Lip- Liptak uh, for the New York Times. Uh, the court on Friday blocked a ruling from federal courts in Ohio and in Michigan that it struck down of uh, voting maps in those areas. The Supreme Court uh, move was expected. Justice will soon decide a second pair of cases. We just mentioned those. Those are out in Maryland. In North Carolina, the Ohio uh, case, a free judge panel found the Republican state legislatures had uh, legislators had uh, drawn maps that allowed their party's candidates to gain oversized uh, pardon uh, situation there. And the panel ordered a new maps to be drawn for 2020. In the Michigan case, another free uh, judge a panel, a pair of different uh, federal districts overruled uh, ruled that uh, 34 congressional districts and state legislative districts in the state were unconstitutional. This is where Eric L. Clay uh, wrote his opinion. During the arguments in March in the North Carolina and Maryland case, some justices indicated they uh, could not identify a standard to determine when politics had uh, played a too large a role in drawing voting uh, maps, but the court in Ohio and Michigan, along with other lower courts, said the task was not that hard. No doubt about that. It's just uh, an excuse. We'll finish this up here. Federal courts uh, must uh, not uh, abdicate. And this is uh, Clay. We won't reread this one. Anyway... Uh, we'll get to this one later. Women are more productive in a cooler um, environment. Now, this is probably uh, velocity is uh, strangling baseball, and uh, and, and uh, its uh, grip keeps uh, tightening. We'll probably put this on Memorial Day here, and we won't go back to that. The Statue of Liberty, this is a very interesting here one here. The Statue of Liberty was created uh, to celebrate free slaves, not immigrants. A new a museum uh, recounts the Lady Liberty was inspired by the end of the Civil War and emancipation. The connection to immigrants uh, came uh, later. Now, this is uh, from the Washington Post. Uh, Gillen, uh, let me see. Brock, <coughs> Brockett, excuse me. The uh, new uh, Statue of Liberty Museum is in New York Harbor. Boast. Uh, Number of uh, treasures: the original uh, torch, which is replaced the uh, replaced in 1980. The red, uh, not green, a uh, copper replica of the uh, face there, unoxidized uh, face anyway. It also revealed ex- uh, aspects of the uh, statue's long forgotten history. The ribbon was originally designed to celebrate the end of slaves, not the arrival of immigrants on Ellis Island. The inspection ses- uh, station, which me and came through, and didn't open until six years after the statue was unveiled. I didn't know that myself. In 1886, uh, my grandfather was born that year. The placard with the uh, famous Emma uh, Lazarus uh, poem: "Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses uh, yearning uh, to breathe free," wasn't added until 1903. So the statue was already there. One of the uh, meanings of the statues has to do with uh, abolition. It's a uh, meaning uh, 
that didn't stick. That's from uh, the, the Professor uh, Edward uh, Brennanson, a professor at the New York University, and offer the book The Statue of Liberty, A Transatlantic Story. The monument, which draws uh, 4.5 million uh, visitors a year, imagined uh, by a man uh, named uh, Eduardo uh, de uh, Libere, I think, in France. He was the uh, was an expert on the American Constitution at the close of the Civil War. The uh, president of the committee that raised and dispersed the funds to newly freed slaves, according uh, to... Uh, Eumis uh, Khan, the author of the book uh, Enlightening the World, the uh, Creation of Statue of Liberty, Labite, uh, Labite, uh Loved America, giving speeches uh, described by the Times correspondent that was in uh, 1867 as a as feats of liberty, which uh, would in which would move the soul of men uh, to their uh, deepest. And he loved even more when uh, slavery was abolished. Lebillé uh, organized a meeting of French abolitionists at his uh, summer home in uh, Versailles. So this is a story that uh, I'd not heard before, and let me finish this up. Uh, one fury has, uh, has her face... Uh, being adopted from a statue of uh, Rahadi proposed for the Suez Canal, meaning her uh, vintage could resemble that of an Egyptian woman. The Times reported that uh, she was uh, based on a Roman goddess, uh, Liberus, who uh, typically wrote uh, a war of the type of a cap worn by freed uh, Roman slaves. So let me finish this up here. I'll go ahead and append this. Uh, W.B. Du Bois also mentioned this in his autobiography. Recall, recall seeing the statue upon his arrival back in the U.S. That was in 1894 after two years in Europe. I uh, know not what the uh, multitude of emotions surged in others, but I have to recall... Uh, a mischievous little uh, French girl whose eyes uh, twinkled as uh, she said, Oh yes, the Statue of Liberty uh, with its uh, back uh, towards America and its face towards France. <laughs> there were immigrants on board the ship uh, with the boys, but uh, they didn't talk to uh, any of them. The ship uh, was uh, segregated. That's very interesting there. So anyway... Um, we finished our lineup. Let me just check on our... Oh, we, okay, we're moving along here. And we'll do the sport. And we'll go to ESPN uh, to do it. And uh, women's softball. That was from uh, on the 24th. been last night. And these are some of the scores here. Oklahoma, 3-0 uh, to nothing over Northwestern. And Ole Miss and uh, Arizona was Arizona six to two. Florida State in Oklahoma State it was uh, Oklahoma State a four to one. Kentucky uh, and uh, Washington University of Washington, uh, free zip University of Washington shut them out. LSU in uh, Minnesota, Minnesota six to three. Tennessee and uh, Florida, Florida uh, free to nothing there. James uh, Madison and UCLA it was UCLA six to one there, and finally Alabama and uh, Texas. It was Texas uh, seven to six. Women's softball. On to Major League uh, Baseball. Not sure what we're doing here. The uh, Reds uh, were in uh, Wrigley Field. The Reds uh, six to five in that game. And the Marlins and Nationals. The Nationals high scoring game there. The Nationals. Uh, 12 to 10. Nationals had 14 hits and four errors. Unbelievable. And the uh, Marlins had uh, 15 hits and one error. The Dodgers in uh, Pittsburgh, uh, 10 to 2 in that game. Dodgers had 13 hits, no errors, and the Pirates, 7 hits and one error. The uh, Padres and uh, Blue Jays in Toronto with the Padres, 6 to 3. 
the Tigers in Mets in New York was Tigers 98 high scoring game there. The Rays were in uh, Cleveland. It was the Rays at three to one. The Red Sox in Astros in Houston. Astros pulled it out. Uh, what four to three? The Astros had four hits and the Sox had uh, seven hits but three errors. The Phillies and Brewers in uh, Milwaukee. Uh, the Phillies are six to four. The White Sox and Twins in uh, Minnesota. The Twins eleven to four. There they had a slugfest. The Twins had 11 hits, 1 air, and the Sox, 9 hits, and 1 air. Atlanta and the Cardinals in uh, St. Louis. It was Atlanta 5-2. to two. The uh, Rockies, 8-6 to six over the Orioles in uh, Denver. The Athletics and uh, Mariners, the Mariners are 6-2. to two. The Rangers and Angels in uh, California. It was the Rangers, 4-3. Uh, the D-backs and Giants in a San Francisco. That game ended up what eighteen to two. The D-backs had uh, twenty-one hits. The poor uh, Giants had seven hits, one air. And the Yankees and Royals in a Kansas City was uh, postponed. On to soccer. Now this is uh, the U.S. I suppose. This is called Major League uh, Soccer. Anyway, Granite City, uh, South Carolina, Zip, and the L.A. Uh, Galaxy one and let's see who else. Real Salt Lake uh, two to one over Atlanta United FC. And let's see what we have here. L A F C uh, four to two over Montreal Impact. The Troy's uh, and Lens Lens two to one. Sure. Uh, oh, this goes to Bardo. Uh, there was one zip there. Andrews uh, one and uh, Saint. Not sure about those. Anyway, Marseille uh, one zip over uh, Strasbourg. One nothing over Nets. Uh, and Nice uh, shut out of Monaco. As Monaco two zip. Oh well. Oops. Women's International, uh, for anyway, Spain and Canada, 0-0. Zero, zero. And we try to get through some of these. Uh, New York uh, Red Bulls and the North Carolina FC was North Carolina FC 2-1. to one. New Zealand uh, U-20, uh, 5 over uh, Honduras. Nigeria, and these are really nations in Nigeria in, is a football hungry nation, a 4-zip there in Ukraine, 2-1 to one over the U.S. and Hungary, 3-1 to one over and CRB, 1-1 one, one, uh, with uh, Nova Scotia Sport, 3-2 uh, to two and so forth and so on. We'll leave it as it is. This will do it uh, for the uh, week that was on the 25th of May 2017. Have a good weekend, everyone. Boston Red and the Jerry Pippen uh, broadcast boop. We'll see you tomorrow with the uh, decoration slash Memorial Day uh, special. Monday morning uh, quarterback. We'll have numbers man this weekend. And hopefully we'll get uh, an open source report to uh, together.